Hello, dear students. Welcome back to SBR View Bridge Crosses. So today we are continuing MCQs on magnetic effect of current. In yesterday's class, uh, due to the network issue, it is not uh, possible to take the class. We are continuing today. So uh, during the class, the internet problem has occurred. So because of that, uh, we didn't able to take. So let us uh, continue the today uh, the remaining questions which have have left. Let us take one by one. So here, the Fleming's right hand rule is used to find Fleming's right hand rule. So according to Fleming's right hand rule, according to Fleming's right hand rule, as we know, the forefinger gives the direction of magnetic field. Forefinger gives the direction of magnetic field, and the, the thumb gives the direction of motion of conductor in a magnetic field and the middle finger gives the direction of induced current direction of induced current so here the question they have given fleming's right hand rule is used to find magnetic field no we are not going to use fleming's right hand rule right hand rule for magnetic field and magnetic force yes Magnetic force for magnetic force, Fleming's left hand rule we used to use on a current carrying conductor, the magnetic force acting on that will be according to Fleming's left hand rule. So, electric current. So, sometimes I used to take the option current, the students, but it will be what is the direction of induced current that we come to know from him, Fleming's right hand rule the answer is the answer is the fourth option okay come here okay. let us take next question next question so next question is that the like poles of magnet like poles of magnet see here Two poles, if I consider two poles, two poles, one is this I have taken, this is a north pole and south pole. The another, the pole, second pole, mag, bar magnet, I'll take here. This is a north pole and south pole. The other two power magnets, if I consider, these are at facing each other with the like poles and unlike poles. In the first case, you have to observe there are like poles. Like there are like poles. Yes or no? Don't say that one. South pole and north pole are not like pole. You have to observe south and north is there, means that is what? unlike poles unlike poles but here in the second case you have to observe in the second case we are having in the second case we are having sorry okay come here In the second case, north and north, north and north are like poles. So here if I observe, if you observe, as we know very well from the magnetic field lines, the magnetic field lines start from north and north to south, outside. The magnetic field lines outside start from north to south. So all the magnetic field lines will be like here. You have to observe here, the magnetic field lines will be like this. And these magnetic field lines are unidirection and towards the south and they are attracting each other. South pole is attracted by north, north pole is attracted by south. Yes or no? So here unlike poles is there means which force we are having? Attractive force. Attractive force. Attractive force. They attract each other. 
Now the question is uh, for like poles. So here the magnetic field lines start from north and towards south. Yes or no? These magnetic field lines are moving in this direction. And here also the magnetic field lines are moving from each other. Is the contract themselves? No. So you have to observe here. This is the cause for repulsive force. This is what you are observing the magnetic field lines. This is what represent the repulsive force. When two like poles are there, when two like poles are there, then the force of repulsion comes between these two like poles. So here the question, the like poles of magnets repel each other is the right answer. Repel each other is the answer. The first they have given attract each other. Second they have given repel each other. The fourth or third option they have given A and B and uh, the fourth option none. But as we know like poles are repel each other. Let's take next question. The next question is. Where the magnetic field lines are closer than at that point magnetic field is. As I have explained in the case of uh, properties of magnetic field lines. In the case of magnetic uh, properties of magnetic field lines we have taken. So here if I take a case. If the magnetic field lines are at equidistance. Equidistance and a particular direction this represent the one of the magnetic field region that magnetic field region what it is see here the magnetic field lines are equidistant from one another and in the same direction if any point if i take in this region at any point if i take in this region the magnetic field will be remain constant so here this represent this field is represent uniform magnetic field uniform magnetic field uniform magnetic field region uniform magnetic field region okay so now if the magnetic field lines are very close to each other very close to each other and uh, they are not equidistant from each other but this represent the magnetic field the magnetic field here that is a strong magnetic field region strong magnetic field region strong magnetic field region so if the magnetic field lines are far away from each other if magnetic field lines are from far away from each other this represent weak magnetic field region weak magnetic field region okay if the magnetic field lines are equidistant from one another, then that gives what? Uniform magnetic field region. If the magnetic field lines are closer to each other, that represents a strong magnetic field region. If the magnetic field lines are away from each other, then that represents weaker magnetic field region. So here, where the magnetic field lines are closer, then at that point, magnetic field is stronger. Magnetic field is stronger. The right answer is what we are having. That is second option is correct. That is the next question. The SI unit of magnetic induction is. SI unit of magnetic induction is. Newton is a SI unit of force. As we know, Newton is a SI unit of force. And Joule is a SI unit of work or energy work or energy kilowatt hour kilowatt hour is a unit of power s yes. kilowatt hour is a unit of power this unit is what we are having newton is for force and this is for what work or energy work or energy and this is what for power so rest which one we are having that is what tesla so, Tesla is a unit of magnetic induction. Take. So, this what the third option is correct. That is magnetic field induction is 
the unit is tesla magnetic induction magnetic field intensity or magnetic field strength that represent what tesla unit is tesla remember so the next question is relationship between electricity and magnetism is given by relationship between electricity and magnetism is given by in the starting of the chapter we have discussed and we have taken the one of the experiment by taking a current carrying conductor that has been placed in the south and north direction and below that we have taken a magnetic needle and when the current is flowing in that conductor the magnetic needle will be gets deflected that deflection is due to magnetic field the current carrying conductor that produces magnetic field that relation and the electricity and magnetism relation has been given by the name of the experiment itself what we are having oersted experiment so here what we are having the relationship between electricity and magnetism is given by oersted okay oersted max uh, fleming has given the direction of magnetic force and index induced current right hand rule left hand rule we have taken maxwell thumb rule right hand thumb rule that gives a magnetic uh, field direction oersted is given the relationship between electricity and magnetism let's see next question so here the magnetic field the magnet uh, sorry inside the magnet the direction of magnetic field lines so as i said many times if i take a bar magnet bar magnet this is south pole and this is north pole south and north the direction of magnetic field inside a magnet is always from south to north outside a magnet is always that is north to south direction of magnetic field inside a magnet south to north outside a magnet that is always from north to south okay so let us see next question the second option what the answer south to north is a right okay next question here the question unlike poles of ma magnet just we have taken few question back if you observe they have given like poles and here they have given unlike poles unlike poles this is what they have given unlike poles unlike poles of a magnet what happens whether they attract or repel each other attract or repel each other so as we know very well so unlike poles unlike poles if i take this is a south and this is a north north to south is the direction of magnetic field lines as are no so this water the south is attracted by north pole and north is attracted by south pole between them there will be force of attraction they attract each other they attract each other like poles whenever comes attract each other like poles whenever comes repel each other okay let us take the next question the next question is that right hand rule gives the direction of most of the students they get confused right hand rule if when they used to give some they used to give the direction of induced current direction of current so whenever they didn't mention the specifically for example so we have just taken the fleming's right hand rule if they did mention the fleming's right hand rule if they didn't given fleming then we are having right hand rule right hand rule we are having that is right hand thumb rule or right hand curl rule right that what we have to take here then the according to maxwell right hand rule that gives the direction of magnetic field magnetic field so in the option they won't be give the in direction of induced current also that you have to come to know so in the options they have given magnetic field magnetic force electric current electric field okay so that what we are having magnetic field is the correct answer the magnetic field direction has been given by according to right hand thumb rule okay right hand rule or right hand thumb rule let us take the next question
So here the question. Magnetic field lines dash each other. So as we know, magnetic field lines when start from any pole, if they are started from, this is a north pole, and if I consider this is a south pole, south, and this is north, the magnetic field lines will be from north to south. How closer the magnetic field, that much stronger the field is. The closer the magnetic field lines, stronger the magnetic field region between the poles, between the poles. Whether they are in curve, as we know, magnetic field lines are closed and in this, what I have taken magnetic field lines, nowhere the magnetic field line I have mentioned the cross each other, okay. In Haribari, if they have, if I draw in here, that is XQ. Then uh, here you have to observe the magnetic field lines as we know, the property of magnetic field line only we are having, they never intersect each other. Reason is that if I take a magnetic field here, if I take a magnetic field here, this is what magnetic field, the direction of magnetic field. This is what magnetic field line we are having. The tangent drawn the magnetic field line at any point on this that gives the direction. So at this point, the magnetic field direction is in this direction. At this point, the magnetic field direction is in this direction. At this point, the magnetic field will be in this direction. At this point, the magnetic field is in this direction. Are you getting? At any point, if you take, the magnetic field has a particular direction. Suppose if the another magnetic field line is crossed each other, at this point, at this point, the another magnetic field direction will get, this is a magnetic field direction. At the same point, at the same point, we are having two directions, right? But as we know, at a particular point, the magnetic field lines or magnetic field has a one direction. But we are, if I, if the two magnetic field line intersect each other at a point of intersection, we'll get the two directions of magnetic field lines. So, which is impossible. So, because of that, the magnetic field lines never intersect each other. So, the, the given question is that what we are having two magnetic field lines dash each other, not intersect each other is the answer. Intersects each other, that is a wrong. And uh, not intersect each other, that is the correct option. Okay. So, not intersect each other is the right answer. Let us take the next question. So, here, some general question I want to take now. This is what we have taken till here, the MCQs. So, I will take some more MCQs in next uh, uh, class. But before that, some examples if I take. Here, the current carrying conductor is there. <coughs> if this current carrying conductor that produces the magnetic field around it, as we know, right? If the current is flowing up, up, the curling finger gives the direction of magnetic field. So now here, you have to observe, this is a magnetic field direction. So as we know, around the current carrying conductor, the concentric circles are the shape of the magnetic field lines. And that gives, okay. So now what we are having, as I move from the current carrying conductor, as I move away from the current carrying conductor, then what happens the magnetic field intensity, whether it is increases or decreases. So as we know, the magnetic field is directly proportional to current and magnetic field produced due to this current carrying conductor is inversely proportional to distance. Yes or no? So as we move away from the current carrying conductor, away from the current carrying conductor, then the magnetic field intensity is goes on decreasing. Magnetic field intensity is goes on decreasing. Let us see here, the question has been arised. So here, at a distance of, 
at a point P, at a point P, at R distance, what distance? R distance, R distance. The magnetic field intensity, they have given 0. 0.4 Tesla. How much? 0. 0.4 Tesla. So, what would be the magnetic field intensity at a distance of, at a distance of 2R? So, that is the Q point. The distance what they have given? Distance is 2R. Whether the magnetic field intensity does decreases or increases? As we know, distance is increases. Distance is increases. Magnetic field intensity must decrease because it is inversely proportional. So, as they have given this problem. So, here at R distance, we are having point uh, uh, 4 Tesla. Then at uh, Q distance to our distance to our distance at a point Q, what will be the magnetic field intensity? See here, shall I take here B2 by B1, B2 by B1. So that will be equal to that will be equal to R1 by R2 because they are inversely proportional. So now B2 is equal to R1 by R2 into B1. This will be the magnetic field induction at point Q. So, R1 is R, R2 is 2R, then this into at point, sorry, at point P, the magnetic field intensity is what we are having, point 4. So, RR get cancelled, 2 ones are 2, 2 is are, that is what, point 2. So, at magnetic field, magnetic field intensity at point Q, will be 0.2 Tesla. Remember. Getting? Getting or not? Okay. Suppose, if I take the magnetic field intensity at point R. Suppose, at a distance. I will take a distance is point R. The distance is R by 2. R by 2. Here I want to take the magnetic field intensity. At point P, we are having 0.4 Tesla. At point Q, I am having that is a 0.2 Tesla. So, what will be the magnetic field intensity R by 2 at R by 2? Shall I take here? So, now I will continue here. Okay. Say, Arvada. At R, magnetic field I will consider B2 comparing to the magnetic field at P, B2 by B1. B2 by B1 is equal to R1 by R2. So, R1 is R, R2 is what? R by 2. So, magnetic field B2 by B1 is equal to RR get cancelled 2. So, now B2 is equal to 2 into 0.4. B1 is 0.4. Then it will be 0.8 Tesla. Here, the distance is reduced to half. If distance is reduced to half, double the magnetic field intensity. Double the magnetic field intensity. As distance decreasing, you have to observe magnetic field intensity is increasing. As distance is decreased, magnetic field intensity increases. As distance is increased, magnetic field intensity decreases. They are inversely proportional to each other. So, similarly, if I take here. So, as we know, a current carrying conductor, if I place a magnetic field, so it experiences a magnetic force. Yes or no? So, direction of magnetic force we come to know from Fleming's left hand rule. If it carries a certain magnitude of current and certain length if it has, then what will be the magnetic force on that current carrying conductor? So, let us consider here. These cross marks represent the magnetic field normally inward. Cross mark is representing the magnetic field is normally inward. This I will consider. 
So let us assume in this region, in this region, the uniform magnetic field is there. So here in this region, the uniform magnetic field is there and the magnetic field direction is inward. If I take a current carrying conductor, if I take a current carrying conductor, this current carrying conductor length is 1 meter. L, how much it is? 1 meter, which is per placed perpendicular to the magnetic field, which is placed perpendicular to the magnetic field and direction of current is left to right. Direction of current is left to right that is perpendicular to the magnetic field. Perpendicular to the magnetic field. Then in which direction the magnetic force will be acting? Magnetic force will be acting. So as we know, according to Fleming's left hand rule, the forefinger gives the direction of magnetic field, middle finger gives the direction of current, thumb is giving the direction of direction of force, magnetic force. If I take now, if I take now, just as take the left hand rule, if I hold left hand rule, the forefinger gives the direction of magnetic field, I keep in the direction of magnetic field, this I'll keep in the direction of current and thumb is giving what? upward vertically upward that gives what magnetic force the magnetic force on this current carrying conductor is acting vertically upward then i want to take here if suppose magnetic field intensity in this region is a 0.4 tesla in this region complete region the magnetic field is 0.4 tesla then the current in the conductor if i consider 4 ampere. How much? 4 ampere. 4 ampere. Then what is the magnitude of magnetic field? So as we know, the magnitude of magnetic field is given by, I'll write here, force is given by F is equal to B I L sin theta. So what is the direction of current of magnetic, direction of current and magnetic field? So they are mutually perpendicular. The angle will be 90 degree, then sine 90 is 1, then force is becomes what Buddha? F is equal to F is equal to B I L. Sine 90 is 1. B is what we are having? 0.4. Current is what we are having? 4 into what is the length of the conductor? 1 meter, 1. Then what happens? The magnitude of force acting on the current carrying conductor that is 0 0.4 into 4 is 1.6 Newton. This is a way to calculate the magnitude of magnetic force on a current carrying conductor. Suppose if this current carrying conductor has been placed at a certain orientation like this, the current is flowing in this the same current and the angle which made with the horizontal and with suppose with the magnetic field if i consider the direction of magnetic field is normally inward the direction of current is in this direction the angle is made by it is a 30 degree now the conductor initially horizontal now it is oriented with an angle 30 degree the current is making the angle with the magnetic field is if i take 30 degree then what would be the force what would be the force if i take now magnetic force what we are having f is equal to b i l sin theta so f is equal to b 0 0.4 i 4 l 1 sin 30 is 1 by 2 1.6 into 1 by 2 that will be 0 0.8 newton will be the force are you getting this is the way 0.8 Newton will be the force acting on this current carrying conductor. Now, what will be the direction? Now, see, you have to observe. If the direction of the current carrying conductor is changed, then the direction of magnetic force is also changed. Initially, it is upward and now it is oriented. But the magnetic force always acts on a current carrying conductor perpendicular to it. Okay, 
so this is what we have taken today's uh, class some important questions from your mcqs so we'll have tomorrow some more examples from this magnetic effect of current which is important to your examination thank you